Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just doing an update on my tank. Uh, I got some new corals and some new things in my tank. First off, you see I built an acrylic frag rack. It's pretty neat. Uh, not your typical frag rack. Um, I had some old pieces of acrylic and made almost like a little bin that sticks on the back and I got some pieces of uh, coral in there and if you notice right here on each side the the acrylics pushed up a little bit so it's it's like a container so it holds frags but there's also flow that comes in through the bottom and uh, keeps everything moving um, you notice I'm still battling a little green hair algae. Um, I started running GFO, but passively because I don't have a reactor. Hoping that for Christmas. So um, we'll see about that. I've been doing water changes every week uh, starting two weeks ago. Uh, pretty large water changes. Hoping to pull some of these phosphates out of here. Um, everything seems really healthy and happy. Besides the little bit of uh, the green hair algae, everything's everything's great. I'm really happy with it. Um, my uh, there's my dog. Some of my new corals. Let's see if we can get a shot of them. really cool acro. I think this would be a deep water acro. It's kind of a light blue color. A dark blue. SPS with, look at the polyp extension on that. Really neat. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Very cool. couple other pieces there's the focus that's more of a teal it doesn't come out very good it's a teal bird's nest right there and then there's a really bright green SPS piece behind it if any of you guys can help me with any of these names that would be great um, I just never have the the foresight to write things down um, next piece right there this is a really neat piece it's got really long kind of fingers on it um, pretty neat next piece kind of a plating green deal more acro that's kind of a green color and there's a little bit different one. Let's see if we can get up in there. I'm really happy because I was kind of worried about starting to get a more SPS dominated tank. Because I was afraid my water wasn't clean enough and that they really wouldn't like that. Um, but everything, the polyp extension on them is great. I am um, target feeding, uh, feeding them uh, Phytoplex, which is a Kent Marine thing. Uh, my calcium is holding steady at about 430. Alkalinity is sitting at about 9. And really couldn't be uh, any happier. If you can see, all my frags have white tips on them because they're growing. The ORA. Stylophora, the purple stylophora is growing, the green millies are growing, and there's one more, I got the uh, Christmas tree favia right there, I haven't decided yet how, I'm, how I like that or not, um, he doesn't seem to be as happy as everybody else, but...
all my rescue corals that I got, the uh, the A cans, the pink and green A cans, looking phenomenal. I am really liking these uh, these lights that we have that I got. The uh, full spectrum, they're the eBay lights, but I've been ramping them up for the last uh, probably month, and everything seems to be taking well to it. Everything's spread now. Take a look at this. Look at this blasto. Just puffed up as much as can be. The mini maxi carpet anemone. I'm uh, target feeding him. He just eats fish food. I just put a fish piece of fish food in every week. And uh, I don't want him to grow too big, but his color is fantastic. I haven't had any problems with anybody, uh, any fish getting close to him or anything like that. Um, got a couple emerald crabs to see if we can get some, some of them to uh, eat some of this green hair algae. But I think once we... Uh, once we start uh, doing more water changes and I get that GFO and carbon reactor for Christmas, we should be in great shape. Um, what else? Oh. I've always used B-Ionic Calcium and Alkalinity two-part supplement. I've started, uh, there's there's a method out there, it's a DIY method for two-part. Um, right now I still have calcium left, but uh, I ran out of alkalinity. So what I did was take a gallon of RO water and I think it was two and a half cups of baked baking soda. I baked the baking soda in a flat dish in the oven at 300 degrees for an hour and then you slowly dissolve it in a gallon of RO water and it serves as alkalinity and my alkalinity has stayed completely stable using this I've now been using it for two weeks I've seen no negative effects on the corals and it cost me about three bucks if you go online you can do you can print out an Arm & Hammer coupon 50 cents off two things of it and at Kroger's they had four boxes of Arm & Hammer baking soda for three dollars and I had two coupons for fifty cents off each got got everything for a couple bucks the calcium is a little different um, you use what's basically driveway heat the driveway salts it's made out of calcium carbonate and you take a couple cups and dissolve it in a gallon of water. It gets a little hot because of a reaction that takes place, but uh, you you dissolve it in the water and it serves the same as, as calcium. Um, and I'm interested to see that. Uh, my calcium rate holds pretty steadily at uh, about 430. So I'm interested to see once I start using start using that, which that's another it's eight bucks for a huge huge uh, thing of it, and it really it's it's no comparison because when you read the ingredients on some of these these store bought like ESVs, Bionic, and Bulk Resupply, the same exact stuff is used in these and you're paying twenty dollars a half gallon for it and I can make two gallon for twenty bucks I can make about ten gallons of each solution so it's uh it really pays to do research and uh, and pay attention to what's going on I was a little worried about uh, the quality of the stuff that I'm using but everything's food grade and done in you know big factories and from the research that I did most of these companies like Bionic buy the same exact chemicals 
the calcium carbonate and the baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, from the same factory. So uh, the quality's there, and if I have any problems, I'll let you know. But as of right now, I don't think I'm having any problems. But uh, give you a shot of the sump. I tuned my uh, protein skimmer a little bit. Um, I think here in the next couple days I'm going to uh, soak the protein skimmer in uh, vinegar and kind of get it all nice and cleaned out because it's just got a lot of coralline on it and I, it ha it's been almost a year since I've done any maintenance to it. I've also stepped up my bio pellets. I added another about quarter of a cup last week uh, I'm trying to ramp it up slowly and take uh, make my system cleaner and cleaner um, to uh, encourage the SPS to grow without stripping the tank completely of phosphates and nitrates um, also will help with getting the green hair, green hair algae under control so if you uh, got any questions let me know and please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.